Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see from the title, we are heading down to Primark to see what is new in store for July 2023. I've seen some great reports of some stuff in store. I am ready. Take me to Primark. It is such a beautiful day today. I'm gonna come back and paint to my new garden bar. If you're part of the vlogs and you follow the vlogs, then you would have seen that we are doing up the garden and I've got some very exciting stuff going on. So make sure if you are new around here and you love vlogs, home content, bargain shopping and specifically Primark, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe and the notification bell. And without further ado, I'm all ready to go. Let's head on down to Primark and see what is new in for July 2022. And here we are back in Primark. As soon as I walk in, look at all of the summer colours that is coming straight out at me. I must admit, I'm not feeling drawn to anything. This woman, I wish she'd move. She's got her earphones in so she can't hear me. You've got some lots of paisley print over there actually and then lots of the summer colours. But yeah, I can't say that anything at the moment is screaming at me. Probably most so are these light and flowy white numbers um so we've got something like this shirt this is very zara-esque actually so this is actually 20 quid um and that's a size m so it is oversized but you can see they've taken inspiration from zara there you've got this light flowy summery dress which is in orange and this is 22 pounds that really surprises me i feel like that is super overpriced you've got this really nice little cohort which is on the model here and this is the top which is actually quite nice considering i don't really like color this is 12 pounds i'm not a massive fan of all this paisley going on but oh those shorts look super nice and flowy actually they look lovely 10 pounds and that's a size 12 i might have to grab one of those and then we've got this cute little bralette as well that same sort of whole fabric and this one here is 14 pounds see that doesn't make sense 10 pounds 14 pounds maybe it's an expensive fabric i don't know if you really want to go all out with the paisley as well they've even got paisley shoes and these are 16 pounds i mean they could could be a statement <laughs> not my style are we going to be seeing clogs coming back in we've got some gold clogs here as well that are also 16 pounds this is a really cute little beachy clutch i like these front sections where they style things together but i mean i've been looking for something simple like this um not quite this one and it's nine pounds I'm is it just me? I'm feeling very shocked with the prices today. Oh wow, this is actually a really cute dress. So this looks, again, quite Zara, quite H&M actually, not Zara. And this is £18, but you know what? That could be quite nice. It is strapped and halter necked. We've also got these style clogs here. So these are like linen ones and obviously they're not as high. Um, these ones are £12 and down here they've got them in the pink and the linen some nice flowy white beach trousers. I've had a pair of these from Primark before, but the problem is they're so see-through. This is a, um, this is 10 pounds, sorry, not a size 10. Um, and actually they are the trouser version of those shorts I showed you earlier. But yeah, you can see how see-through they are because the tag's showing through there, making me think that those shorts I just picked up might not be the best option actually, but we'll have to see. So we've still got a big section of the seam-free separates that they do. These have been super popular. For five pounds, I've spotted these these little numbers which are quite cute little peplum tops these are six pounds we've got a black we've got a pink and we've got this floral design it looks like we've got a little green one around here too these are cute I always find that off the hanger peplum looks lovely but when I put it on it's a little bit is a little bit unflattering it seems like we've got a lot of basics so over there was the seamless stuff we've got the tang tops or the cami tops sorry these are two pounds they used to be one pound 80. we've got all of the regular styles here i must admit there's nothing that's like in this section that i'm like oh my goodness it's all just quite basic to be honest but let's head over here to the holiday shop so we have finally got some different eye-catching bikinis. This one's quite nice, which is a little floral bandeau. They've also got it in the triangle style. So the bandeau is only £2.50. Now that's the sort of prices I like seeing. And the triangle top I'm gonna assume is the same. It's also £2.50, yep. We've got this sort of mermaid style one. That's a little bit interesting. This one is £7. I knew that they'd be up in the price on that one. It's the minute they get a little bit of nice fabric, that's it, the price goes through the roof. Well, through the roof, that's a bit of an exaggeration, you know what I mean. I just have been, the last probably three, four years, I have been massively underwhelmed with the Primark selection of holiday stuff. Like the swimsuits I find are always nicer than the bikinis, but even this year I'm not feeling massively 
like, oh my goodness, that's so nice, I need it. And I remember about four years ago, it really was like I wanted a little bit of everything. But yeah, I'm walking around this holiday shop and genuinely, this wall's quite aesthetically pleasing actually with the browns and blacks and a little bit of cheetah print. I don't know how I feel about that, but I like the way they've merchandised this wall. But yeah, nothing's really screaming out to me. Well, apart from these sandals, these are actually really nice. I've seen quite a few nice pairs of shoes now, so the shoe section should be interesting. These are £9. It's a shame I've already got one of these, but I really like this white bikini bag. This is £2 and they do it in blue and also the pink. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into Primark Beauty because I have honestly walked around half of this bottom floor and it is all just basics. I'm really, really unimpressed good product for summer we've got the radiant body highlight this is four pounds and it's a liquid highlighter we've also got some glitter pigments obviously with it being summer it's also festival season so things like that are always handy I'm not sure I've seen this foundation before but this is the PS Pro airbrush foundation so as you know this one here is the flawless glow so that one is duping the Charlotte Tilbury flawless glow flawless glow the glowy one I feel like this is gonna be duping the Charlotte Tilbury perfect one the one that's higher coverage this is seven pounds though so we've got some extensions to the prep and perfect range we've got this glow cream illuminating primer i can't remember what this is duping it, even the bottle reminds me of the original product but this is the glow Illum glowing cream so it's a brightening primer four pound fifty for that one we then have the um contour sticks or the foundation plus contour sticks and i've been looking out for this one but i'm not sure this is going to be dark enough it might be it's only three pounds though. And then I'm sure I've showed you guys these before. This is the dupe for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. And obviously as you can see, this is the Vitamin Rich Moisturizing Primer, but the bottle is curiously the same. If you're traveling, these are quite cute. They've got a little brow taming kit and it comes with a little pencil, a little gel, and the spoolie and some tweezers at £3.50. These are also new as well. So we've got the Hydrate Liquid Lip Scrub and Lip Hydrating Drops. We've got a ton of the Primark nails. Honestly, I've told you guys, I get so drawn in with these, but quite frankly, for me, they just don't work, but the range has been extended massively. Also, to update you on these, I bought them before, um, the no glue nail tabs at £1.50. I don't recommend, they don't work at all. This is new as well. We've got some of just the Coffin Clear 100 piece false nail tips, but to be quite honest, three pounds is quite expensive for that. I know you get them on eBay or whatever for like a pound. Okay, now onto the other side of the bottom floor. And again, I'm feeling super underwhelmed. Like, you know when you just walk through a section and you're not drawn to anything? I feel there's no visual merchandising. I feel it's all a bit dull. Obviously I will have a look around, but there is nothing here that's exciting me whatsoever. I mean, we've got chinos, for goodness sake. No shade if they're your thing. We've got the parachute pants, but I've seen these before, 18 pounds. Obviously all the denim, but we don't want to be looking at denim while it is currently 28 degrees outside. Thank you very much. So this is what I mean about visual merchandising. I have just come up the escalators and how much more exciting and visually pleasing is all of this. You've literally got a rainbow going across, love it. We've also got these really nice merchandised walls as well. So this is the Primark edit, which as you can see, we've got a lot of car keys going on, a lot of greens, neutrals, really vibing with that for the summer months. It's a nice difference from that, you know, from the bright colors at one side to choosing these sort of neutrals, but having it still really summery. So this is one of the pieces that's standing out to me in the Primark edit range. It's a long line blazer in this sort of like, I don't know, it's almost like camel, but khaki at the same time color and it is 32 pounds it's a shame they don't do matching shorts to go with those i think that i'm not too sure if they're matching they i can't even tell with the lighting they would go together i feel though you've got the trousers here at 20 pounds but honestly it's far too hot at the moment to even be thinking about trousers this is quite nice as well this is a white linen blazer in the primark edit range and this is 35 pounds we've got some nice summer dresses so this one's 12 this is eight we've got more floral patterns 12 8 again wow i don't think you can tell how electric pink this dress is here but this is eight pounds and this is actually quite nice it's a ribbed fabric i feel like that would be quite flattering good for any festivals as well you could dress that up with a bum bag some glitter 
and it would be really nice and cool. For bright colours as well, I also quite like this long one as well because it's sort of like a mid axi dress. Nice green colour and only £10. And then we do have a lot more of the rib fabrics around here, but these ones definitely look a lot cheaper. You can see the hanger through them, so they're going to be quite see-through, um, but they are cheap at £7. We've got some sort of seamless dresses here at just, it says £10, but the label here says £7 on both of them. But they are that seamless material, really comfortable. So we've got it in the nice green, a pink and then I can also see a blue back there as well lots of trousers in this section but they look like sort of nice flowy trousers oh are these the beige versions of the ones that I have so many colors on this back wall but no designs or anything that's really really standing out to me everything looks nice and flowy and light which is perfect for the season but it all feels very generic at the moment. I spotted this co-ord set last time, but I think this is really nice for the summer months. I know obviously the blazer is thick, so it's not ideal in that instance, but we have these pinstriped trousers here, but with the contrast between the beige and the cream, it's really, really nice. It's super summery, it's super light. They're 12 pounds. And then we have the matching blazer at 28, and then we also have the trousers at 16. So it's quite nice if you wanna buy both of those and obviously the blazer, and then you can mix it up. You can use this in the autumn months as well but obviously this in the summer too i spotted this pink top over there but i didn't realize in the reduced section but look at this reduced from 11 pounds to a pound it's a shame they've only got size 16s because i actually probably would buy that this is a really nice little skirt from the paula echeverria range but oh my goodness is it a little skirt that is so short it's tiny and then surprise surprise of course, <laughs> this has gone into the sale as well. We have seen this top for a couple of months now and clearly it's not selling, but this is reduced from 13 pounds down to seven. I don't know, part of me like feels like you could really work that, but obviously this is a very unique piece. I feel like you need to know what you're doing to style that. <laughs> okay, so this looks a lot more like I'm gonna be finding things that are actually good in this section. A lot more merchandise, a lot more neutral. We're starting off with these shorts are really nice. They look nice and flowy, but we have got that embroidered sort of fabric again. That's not embroidered. I really don't know what this is called. Well, it is embroidered, I suppose, but I'm gonna guess these are gonna be overpriced for what they are. Eh. They're a little bit overpriced, I'd say, but they're quite nice. And then we've got, I mean, this is just the merchandising I love. White, black, and neutral. We've got this dress here, which is really on trend at the moment. Definitely something Zara would do. This is 28 pounds, but I think these sort of midaxi flowy dresses are really in. Same with that one over there. Those sort of dresses are very timeless, I suppose. But this year I feel more than ever that sort of Riviera look is really, really in. Okay, so this is the first thing I've seen that I really, really like. It is a, as you can see, jumpsuit. Well, I sort of see, it's a jumpsuit. I'm gonna guess they've got no sizes left there. I mean, that's a size eight. That looks huge, um, but it's only 14 pounds. So I literally just picked up something exactly like this from H&M and it was about, 19 pounds i think it was and this is 10. it is slightly different mine's more of a halter neck but nevertheless still on trend i can only see this in black at the moment this is quite nice it's a linen off the shoulder top haven't seen a style like that in here before and it is 12 pounds we've also got this really nice little top here and also this one this is really pretty but again they've got no sizes in these or these i can see this section is getting quite busy um because everyone's gravitating around this so clearly these are popular designs but primark does this all the time they never never indicate which ones are going to be popular um, and get enough stock in so yeah they've only got these in a size eight and they are 18 pounds considering there's not much material and that's quite a see-through top i feel that's very very steep i mean this is pretty but it's nothing special it's quite pull and bear style ah there we go it's 10 pounds so this is an interesting little merch display i suppose that's right next to the section i've just showed you but we've got a little bit of cow print we've got a bit of animal print these are the shoes i bought back in march i've worn them out already a couple of times i love them they are so comfortable i cannot recommend enough i'm going to check out and see if i can find the gold ones when we go into the shoe section but i feel like this is a bit random where they've put a pink skull i do love anything to do with like the western and cowboys i find this really cute i think it's a candle holder um but definitely not something i would have in my house though <laughs> transitioning from the zara h&m super on trend neutral through to it looks like they've got quite a kind of grungy section going on here oh my goodness look at that cohort can you see that sparkly cohort apparently that skirt's only seven pounds but 
This is completely merchandised differently. We've got a Nirvana shirt here. We've got these Birkenstock, well knockoff Birkenstocks with the little studs on them at 11. And then here is the skirt, but it's all on its own. Although that size looks, that's a size large. I still might give that a go, you know. If it's only seven pounds, why not? We've then got this like cotton style skirt, which is quite different. It's got a drawstring. It's that sort of cargo style, which looks like it should be shorts, but it's in a skirt and it's only eight pounds. You can see what I mean, how kind of grungy section, because they paired it with a Rolling Stones t-shirt here. Oh my goodness, this bag is so cute. I don't know why I'm drawn to these bags all the time but this is eight pounds. I've really been drawn to the accessories since we come in store. So all the shoes, all of the bags. I'm looking forward to getting round to that section. That's not far away now. So the lovely ladies there are just putting out the top. So I just grabbed the sparkly top to go with that bottom skirt cohort. This is really cute. This is, I did think it looked tiny, but it's six pounds. It's a 2XS, this one, but this is a really pretty little gypsy top, maybe a little bit too short. But look what we have got in Bristol now. We've got a Tasty by Greg's. Might have to grab a coffee in there in a minute. Oh my goodness. My heart has just been stolen. My heart has just been stolen. I've seen this picture on Instagram. I am such a Western and country girl. Like I love any of that style. I do not need any more cowboy hats because I have a collection too big already. But oh my goodness, look at these boots. They are 24 pounds, but how wearable are they? We've also got the silver ones. I can't see these being as popular because obviously they're a little less wearable. But nevertheless, my heart is so warm in this section. I love it. They've even put the little denim jackets here too. What a vibe. I can spot as well that on this display, they've also got the black version of that little bag. I don't know why I'm really drawn to this. I just think it's super cute. Loewe did a bag similar to this, uh, and this is only eight pounds. Hello, everybody. I hope we are doing well. So yeah, so far, I feel like the accessories are gonna do well. The clothing has been disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, the accessories, which I'm just coming into now. Oh my God, I've just seen a tassel bag. More cowgirl-esque. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to getting into the accessories now. So let's look at handbags, jewelry, and shoes next. I have a feeling this is gonna be very good. So there is that little clutch we've seen downstairs. And then these are so cute. I spotted this one in the window. Love it. It's obviously inspired by the Loewe bag and it's only 11 pounds. This is the natural one. And they also do a little colorful one there as well. It's a good little size as well. It's not too small and it's not too big. Oh my goodness. We know what this bag is trying to emulate, don't we? Do we know? Do we not know? I'll put it in the screen here. Not necessarily in denim. I may be able to find it in denim, but it's the Prada re-edition bag. It's actually a bag on my hit and wish list at the moment. Um, but this denim one, I never usually like denim. I love this and it is nine pounds. I might have to get that. Oh, I wish they did this in black as well. I'm at the back of the like cowboy cowgirl stand and these are the bags I spotted in the distance just now. I would never probably buy one, but I do like the style. These are nine pounds, the little satchel bags, but oh my goodness, I love the beige boots. I so hope they have my size because I will be buying these. Oh, I am a size six, but I always go a size seven. I feel like I'm gonna have to because that is a very small opening. I'm gonna have to go with size seven, so pray for me they have these, because I want them. Can confirm they have them. Yay! I can't recall if I showed you guys this bag before. They have it in the white and they've also got it in the beige, but this is a dupe of the Pateka Veneta bag and this one is just seven pounds. I don't know what it is about me at the moment, but I'm just being drawn to sparkle. I want sparkle everything. Also really liking all of the like beachy style stuff. I don't like this one because I'm not into the color, but I think I've seen they did this in multiple colors. It might have sold out by now. So these ones here are also giving me designer vibes. I think this is emulating a Balenciaga one that they did. Um, my mind's gone a bit numb, but yeah, I think that's Balenciaga. Oh my goodness, look at these. Why do I love that? I feel like I need it. It's nine pounds for this little clutch, but this is um, inspired by Fendi, very, very clearly. It's a clutch because it's got a little snap open closure there, but I love this. And then I did see this bag, I was supposed to show you over on that merchandise section, but I think this is really nice. It is 14 pounds. It's not my style, but I can appreciate the sort of detail that's gone into it. We've got some beach bags here, just some basic designs. I did show you guys this pink denim one last time which I think looks like a really nice big slouchy bag. I feel like this is something I would have bought as my school bag back in the day. Um, £5.50. We've got a bit more colorful one there at £12. 
because we've got that paisley print again we've got some basic ones and we've got some more colorful ones oh look they do a big version of that one it's just not very practical is it it does come with a little insert in it so obviously like your stuff's not actually hanging out here but even so these are 10 pounds heading into the accessory section we have this little merchandise section here which is very colorful very beachy as we can see holy macaroni look at these shoes wow they are bright and i really like the square toes i really like those these are 14 pounds i really like the design of them if they did those in natural probably be something i'd go for oh my goodness what the hell they have a little olive tree here Primark Home, this is seven pounds. We've also got the same shoes, but in flats version here. So these are nine pounds. So if you don't like the heels, then we've got the flats. And it looks like there's also some matching bags, whether they do the same colors, I'm not sure, but they've merchandised it with the blue here. And they do do the sandals and blue, because there's one hidden there. So I'm in the jewelry section now, which they have massively minimized. I don't know whether that's just for summer and they've taken away lots of the designs, but we've got some different bits and bobs which I'll show you here so we've got some sort of beachy little clips for £2.50 this was obviously part of a pack but here's the earring here which would have been obviously two at £3.50 I feel like that's a very on style as well we've got this set here of bracelets which is very beachy at £3.50 we've got little sets of necklaces as they always do oh what's that is that for your hair oh it's no it's a cuff wow that's really pretty too and then I spotted these downstairs in a pink colour, but these are also, I actually quite like them. These are very nice. I wish they did these in a neutral colour, because I would have grabbed them at £3.50. A lot more necklace stacks, and then we've got these chokers, which go with the theme we saw over there at £4, the embroidered ones. And then look at these shell necklaces or like beaded shell necklaces. Very beachy at five pounds, and they also do the matching bracelets at three pound 50. Heading into shoes, we're starting with the reduced section. Now, there's a surprise that these milkshake, massive high heels went into the sale. They're reduced from 18 pounds to 10 pounds. I could never ever wear those, oh my goodness. One, I'd be a skyscraper, and two, that's just asking to break your ankle. So I never actually seen these when they were full price, but these are part of the Paula Echeverria collection and they were 15 pounds and they're reduced to just five. They're quite nice, you know, the copper color and they have actually got them in my size. Do I give these a go or do I not need any more shoes? Probably the latter. Holy macaroni, look at these trainers. I never usually take any notice of the Primark trainers, but wow. They're looking like the buffaloes, aren't they? <laughs> and these are 20 pounds, but why do I love them? I don't need any trainers and I will not buy any trainers, but why do I love them? I have found the Primark Gold Paula and Chaveria shoes that I was saying I loved. I was hoping these would be reduced, but they're not. But these are my size and they're size seven and they are 18 pounds. Probably still gonna get these because I love my other ones so much. I did just pick up those bronzy heels though. So I'm gonna try both of them on and make a decision. I feel like I definitely don't need both. I really am a magpie today. Such a magpie, right. These, I have them and I love them. I seriously recommend, this is the one thing you buy from Primark this summer, buy these sandals. They are eight pounds and they actually have sizes for once. I love mine so much. They also do them in black. I'm not as a big fan of the black ones. And then I've noticed they've got these little weaved ones, which I quite like as well. Underneath, I don't know how sort of comfortable they feel. I might give them a go though. They are 11 pounds. I'm also wondering if I go for these, which we've seen earlier at nine pounds. I might try them on as well. And more sparkles. Do I love these as much though? I mean, they are very nice, but I think I'm being more drawn to the gold ones. I don't actually have any gold sandals, so I might give the gold ones a go. I'm gonna try them on, and these are nine pounds also. We've got a lot of the knockoff Birkenstocks in all the regular colors, and these are only seven pounds, and also these, which are the knockoff Adidas ones. I can't remember who the designer is, but I must admit that the Poundland ones, I feel are much better than this. Also, if you need flip-flops, flipping hell get it <laughs> and these are only one pound which is good but I might recall they used to be 90p so we're done with the clothes and we're gonna have a look at home now which I'm quite intrigued with because we've seen a few things dotted around the store that has caused interest so here is the start of it oh my goodness from an angle that did not look 
that did not look like a candle with a heart. <laughs> Stop it. So we've got quite a lot of pink going on. I appreciated summer and spring. Got a little bit more pastels over here, a bit more neutrals, which I'm liking. These sort of like um, dusky neutrals. I find it goes from pastel to dusky neutrals, which is quite nice. We've got this diffuser here, which is amber and nectarine, but you know me, I am very drawn to the images. I literally was just here. I swear, like I was, took my photo just there <laughs> the other week. We went to Santorini which is where this looks like it's from. But as you all know, I get very drawn in with these packagings and obviously inside is just a glass bottle, so don't fall for it. And then we have some faux foliage. Oh my goodness, guys, they've got olive branches. That is so cool. I love that. The olives are really uh, in play at the moment. This is £2.50. This is their little setup section over here, which they like to do every now and again. Again, these dusky pastels that we're seeing. This is quite nice. These sort of half woven, half jute baskets are quite popular. Does that come in a three pack? It looks like it does. And that is £10. There's a faux little palm here, which is in a little woven basket at seven pounds. Mirrored trays, we see them all the time. This is another little Santorini diffuser. This is jasmine and eucalyptus. They also just do the regular eucalyptus over there, which I do quite like. We've seen this around for ages. As you guys know, this little wreath here of the pussy willows is a dupe for the one that the white company do. I swear we've seen this last year as well. It's a little design mat at 18 pounds. There just seems to be so many stands of candles and I must admit, in my experience, the Primark candles have never been that exciting to me. I've never felt like the scent throw has been amazing. So it's a shame to see so many stands fill up with candles. But again, that's probably because they're not selling. Reductions wise though, this has just been reduced to half price because it was far too overpriced when we seen it in the last video. It's eight pounds for this, now reduced to four, which I still think is too expensive. It's unscented, it's just a nice little vase. We've still got these candle holders. Literally, no one is buying them. And then we've got some sets as well. Oh, we've even got a little diffuser here, reduced from 20 pounds to 10 pounds, but it's just a shame because most of the boxes, oh no, these aren't too bad. It's the same as the boxes are battered, but those back ones are okay. We've also seen a few of these reductions. Literally, this is not moved, <laughs> which is a but first bubbles sign. It was supposed to be 32 pounds. Last time I seen it, I think it was reduced to 20. I'm gonna guess it's reduced even more now, but that's quite cute if you've got a home bar, which we have, but we're working on it. And I have already got a neon sign on the way. We've got a really nice little vibey section over here. So a three pack of LED battery operated candles. These are usually about 10 pounds in home bargains and stuff. And they are 10 pounds here. So they're about on par. We've got the little elephant, the little Buddha, little Buddha tea light holder. These aren't anything new. Got this lampshade, which is really nice. Oh, it actually drops down. And this is 24 pounds. So that is a little bit more expensive. This is a desk lamp actually, and this is 20 pounds, but that's new. I think that's really nice. This would be so pretty in a bathroom. It's a little conch shell, and this is five pounds. I mean, another half of the floor is just bedding and throws. It's not the time for bedding or throws. The, ah, now, this, a little bit more merchandise to the summer. This is like safari vibes, how interesting. I love the visual merchandising when they do things like this. So we've got lots of like little amber room sprays and diffusers. We've of course got this duvet cover set, which is like this. We've got some woven baskets. We've got some macrame. We've got the same eucalyptus diffusers. A lot of natural textures and colors here. And then to top it all off, we've got a little golden giraffe as well. Only six pounds. Now, if gold is in your bathroom theme, this might be for you. Look, they're actually doing bathrobes as well. This is a large to extra large, but these are 18 pounds. I feel like this display is really nice. So you've got these little jars, which are seven pounds. I feel like that's quite steep. You've also got the uh, little soap pump, which unfortunately the bottom bit looks really nice, but this top bit really cheapens it out. This is four pound 50. See, that doesn't make sense. Why is that four pound 50? And this is literally seven pounds. It just doesn't seem worth it at all. You've got the golden little mirrored trays. You've of course got that golden mirror tray as well. And then these I think are just little toothbrush holders and these are four pounds. Although, do you know what? That would be a really good hack as glasses at home. I mean, I don't know how long, obviously they wouldn't be dishwasher safe with the metal on them, but I mean, how bougie would those glasses be? <laughs> they've got a soap dish here and they've also got this thick glass 
tray. This is actually really nice with the design on it, but that is seven pounds. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I love this so much, but we've got a little thing of tulips. That is adorable. Can I see a price? Six pounds. I don't know why, I just think that's really cute with the little faux water as well. We've got the slightly darker colored stuff for the bathroom over here, the marble and the matte black. This has been around for ages, um, but this is new. This is a soap dispenser, but that's quite different, isn't it? And this is £4.50. Summer outdoor dining vibes. So we've got a lot more of the sort of seagrass here as well. These are napkin rings. So you get a pack of two for £2.50. You've got the glasses, we've seen these before from last year. We've also got the jug, which we've seen from last year. This cute little mango wood bowl, bowl at four pounds. A cutlery organizer, and then we've got the mango wood glass jars as well, which I know people went mad for about these because they are pretty much Zara home exactly. And they are four pounds a piece. I don't know why, but I love this little wooden board. I really need to up my wooden, like little chakari board. I keep, is it chakari or chakari? Option A is shakari, option B is chakari. Which one's right? I feel like it's A, but um, this is a little bit too small, but this is only six pounds and it is like that mango wood, feels really good quality. We've basically got the same stuff over here, which they've just merchandised in a slightly different way. So it feels like they've got a lot of this stock, which again, we've got literally the same things here. A slightly bigger bowl here. This one will be five pounds. And then we've got some amber glass things as well, little storage containers. Here is all the mango wood containers that you can get. So the bigger ones and the smaller ones. This is also new, I've not seen it before. A little coffee, coffee, coffee sippy cup at four pounds. And then these are actually storage jars as well, but I'm not too sure why they've got the little thing in there. I really don't know what that adds to it, but they are slightly different and they do them in the bigger size and the smaller size. The bigger one is four pound 50 and the smaller one is four pounds. These little cups are very cute. So these are the double insulated wall ones. I feel like these had a moment, I feel like that moment's probably going now, but these are £4.50 a piece, which is quite steep. I think even Amazon, you can find a pack slightly cheaper than that per glass. But the problem is with these, they're always a little bit too small. So when I'm doing my coffees and stuff, I find that they are just too small for the amount that comes out of the machine. This is cute. They've got a little wall art section that they've changed around here. So you've got all of the different numbers in here. And then you can like flip through and choose your pictures. Oh wow. This is actually very cute. Oh my goodness, look, Mykonos. I was literally there like a week ago. That is really cool. I really like that. This is new. I've never seen this in the Bristol store anyway. We never really delve into this section either, do we? But we've got some rugs and I was drawn in because I seen this one, which looked very beachy. It's like a bigger version of that little one I showed you a little bit earlier. And then we've got this super fluffy one. But honestly, at the moment, this is just making me feel hot looking at it. We have now come to the back of the home section and that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming shopping with me in Primark to see what is new in for July. Fresh and new in for July. I have so enjoyed coming here today and I will see you all for my whole video that's on Sunday. So if you do like the Primark content, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you all in Sunday's video. Ciao.